Can you get shredded using kettlebell swings? By the end of this video, you will understand if kettlebell swings can help you build muscle as well as if they should be part of your muscle building routine. Before diving into it today, we're putting out new content every single week geared to help you get in the best shape of your life, building muscle, losing fat. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you as part of my community. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and that bell so you can be notified when we release new videos. With that being said, let's get into it. <music> Hey, what's up? My name is Skylar Deem. I'm the founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help you lose fat, build muscle, and most importantly, build the confidence to know that you are going to lose the weight for good. What you're going to learn in this video, as well as all the other content we put out, has helped clients of mine drop the weight, build muscle, and ultimately step into the healthiest and happiest version of themselves. And so, the age-old question. Kettlebell swings, if you follow my content by now, it's pretty hard to argue that they have some very incredible health benefits from cardiovascular benefits, from building connective tissue, and arguably building muscle. But to what extent can kettlebells help you build muscle? That's what we're going to cover today. So before we talk about if kettlebells can help you build muscle, I think it's important to understand how you build muscle. Now there's an awesome, awesome video by Ted on this that really broke down muscle building to its simplest form. And as simple as I can say it, you build muscles by exposing your muscles to stress. When you expose your muscles to stress, Stress, what a lot of people don't realize is that you actually create these micro tears in your muscle. So when you're lifting weights, when you're doing things to build muscle, the first step is actually breaking it down through these micro tears. And so what happens when you have these tears is that cytokines in the body actually come and they rebuild that muscle tissue, except this time they rebuild it back slightly more than before. Now, of course, this is assuming that you have proper nutrition, you're getting proper rest, you're exposing yourself to minimal but well-timed stressors. But if your recovery is in place, the actual fact of tearing down your muscles is is going to help them build back stronger. Now, what's also important to note here is that while stress can help you build muscles, of course, it has to be more and more stress over time, right? If I'm using my muscles to pet my cat, odds are I'm not actually going to build muscle because that's a very low level of stress that my muscles are used to. And so the process of building muscle uses a term called hypertrophy, where you're continuously exposing your muscles to more time under tension, more stress, which allows them to tear and build back strong. So before we actually get into if kettlebells can build muscle, I love if you could leave me a comment below. How often are you currently swinging kettlebells in your workout routine? I love hearing from you, so please leave a comment and let me know. So with that being said, do kettlebells build muscle? Now the short answer is yes, but not in the way that you think. Now kettlebells will help you build a lot of power, right? If you're moving this heavy weight and you're swinging it, but you're not actually using a lot of the muscles, you're more using momentum, you're going to build a lot of power in the process. However, they will also help your muscles grow to an extent. Obviously, if your muscles have not been exposed to this type of tension, they will adapt. They will start to tear. And if you have the right recovery, they will build back. However, kettlebell swings may not help you consistently and continuously grow muscle. And so think about this for a second. Building muscle comes from continuous levels of increased stress. And odds are, unless you're continuously going up and weight, what a lot of people do, especially if they're swinging kettlebells, is they stick with the same weight and they increase the amount of sets. They potentially increase the amount of reps during each set. And there's not much increase in the actual stress of the weight of the kettlebell. But from an observational side of things, if we look at the experts in the kettlebell field, the best of the best, and we look at their physiques, yes, they look in shape, but they're not completely shredded, right? If we take someone like Kim Fox here, who looks incredible, she's the kettlebell champion, she set multiple records, she looks in shape, but she obviously doesn't have the largest muscles. Same goes for these pictures of world champions. They look super healthy, they look super strong, but they don't look like someone who's built a lot of muscle, right? If you're looking at someone who's built a lot of muscle, we could take someone, for example, like Nick Walker, who is a competitive bodybuilder, shout out New Jersey, and his training involves mostly weights. And so it's interesting here because they're still using similar weights, right? If I were to take a 70 pound kettlebell, I could probably also take a 70 pound dumbbell and do certain movements with it. But the fact that it's controlled, it's time under tension and it's continuous, simple movements and increasing the amount of stress in that area allows for greater muscle recovery. And yes, you could argue that these bodybuilders are taking steroids. However, even if kettlebell champions like this were taking steroids, they wouldn't get similar results because they're not putting their muscles under the same amount of tension and stress. Now, does that mean that you should ditch kettlebell swings completely? No, because kettlebells have amazing benefits. What I'll share here is a small tweak you could make to get more muscular growth benefits out of this kettlebell. And it's actually how you hold the kettlebell when you swing. And so if you are looking to use a kettlebell to build muscle, if you're typically holding the kettlebell, you just have your hands along the handle and you're just swinging and not really activating your arms. And so a small, small tweak that you could make to use more muscle activation and potentially build more muscle is pulling the handle apart. So if you see the difference in my activation here, so this is much more relaxed and this is me pulling apart. I mean, it's not a huge noticeable difference, but I definitely feel it. And so rather than just keep your arms relaxed and just have a tight grip on the handle, pull that handle apart while you're swinging and you're going to feel much, much more upper back 
and upper body activation. So give that a try and see if that makes a difference as well. So yes, you can build slightly more muscle with kettlebells than you may be now with this small tweak, but if you're looking to optimize muscle growth, kettlebells wouldn't be my first choice. I would stick with standard weight training. I would use sets of anywhere from five to 12 reps and per body part, I would look to do anywhere from 10 to 20 sets per week, obviously making sure you're prioritizing recovery. So sleep, stress, and nutrition. But of course, include kettlebell for the other benefits you get. Cause if you're just building muscle, but you're not working on your cardiovascular health, you're not working on your endurance, you're not truly gonna be living up to your best self. And you may notice certain times where you're out of breath, even though you look good, you may be out of breath going up a flight or stairs. And so if you are looking for help in terms of help building muscle, help losing fat. We do have a very simple and effective strategy we use to help you build more muscle, to help you burn more fat. And so we also put together a free training in the description of this video that lays out exactly what we do and why it's so effective. We've helped plenty of clients now lose over a total of 400 pounds and that number's going up every single week. And that system is laid out there completely in that training. That's all I got for you today, guys. If you are looking for more awesome ways to simplify the process of losing fat and building muscle, make sure you tap subscribe. Make sure you like this video if it helped you. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.